Mindline here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm making a short little tutorial on how to launch cruise missiles from AI units. This is a question I've seen uh, pop up in uh, various uh, forums and it actually took me uh, quite a while to actually um, figure out how to do this. So let's say we have a little bomber here that's going to launch a cruise missile at Ramat David. He's a bit naughty. This is an ASU-24. Now let's uh, switch this one to pinpoint strike. And here we have uh, various uh, cruise missiles that you can carry, the KH-59, that is uh, the best one. So let's uh, use this for uh, uh, this scenario. So as you can see, the KH-59M has uh, quite a long range of uh, up to 150 kilometers. That is uh, roughly, um, 75, uh, 80 nautical miles, I think. So let's uh, pick this uh, loadout right here. And let's have him start at uh, 20,000 feet. Oops, not 200,000. And let's uh, have him fly in this uh, direction right here. Or like uh, so. Now let's uh, set uh, the attack waypoint, like so. Next up, we're going to add uh, a task on uh, the advanced waypoint uh, section. Let's press add and let's go to perform task. And uh, from here, you intuitively uh, think you want to uh, go to attack map object. That is uh, what I see most people go wrong, but uh, don't, go, uh, don't go to attack map object, go to bombing. Yeah, it uh, doesn't make much uh, sense uh, when you're launching a cruise missile, but uh, that's how it goes. So let's uh, click this one and let's zoom out. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's uh, attack this, uh, this one right here. This warehouse. Now let's zoom out again. Now let's uh, go to weapon. From here, you can uh, keep it in auto, but I actually like to uh, specify the type of uh, wep weapon I am using, in this case, cruise missile, like so. I'm doing that uh, because if you have other weapons, for example, bombs, then uh, the aircraft actually will uh, go in for attack with bombs as well. And uh, that's not uh, really fortunate if you have uh, friendly SAMs and such, and uh, your AI units will just get shot down. They are really, really stupid. So you need to be very specific uh, in uh, uh, how you program it. Uh, release quantity, let's go for all. And let's keep it in uh, attack uh, quantity at one. If you uh, have several aircraft, uh, you can uh, press group attack. And let's set uh, the altitude at uh, above 20,000 feet. Actually, this one is a bit uh, strange because often I can see that uh, the AI for some reason ignores it and uh, stays with uh, the one you programmed the waypoint for. I don't know quite, I don't know why. Now let's go out of it, that one, and uh, let's, uh, having gone back to, uh, let's say, Saikwal right here, and let him uh, land, like so. So now at this point, he should uh, go to waypoint one and then fly to waypoint two, uh, where he will uh, launch his missiles. So let's uh, see how this plays out. So here we are, let's uh, press the zoom. Oh, the sound was really loud. The sound was really loud, so I zoomed out a little bit there. Let's fast forward a little bit. There he is at waypoint one. Now we should fly to waypoint two where he will launch his missiles. Fast forward a little bit there. Now he just uh, reached waypoint uh, two and now he's uh, going to launch as soon as he is in within range. I set the waypoint about uh, 70 nautical miles, so you might be a little bit uh, too far. The AI works in mysterious ways. There, he launched. And he launched both of them, as you can see. 
and he is turning away. Now let's follow the missiles. And as you can see the cruise missiles are diving, that is because they are in fact uh, terrain following, uh, more or less. Not very maneuverable, I will uh, say from experience. But they will fly uh, fairly low and uh, try to avoid the uh, SAMs in that, uh, that way. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. Now we can see that uh, the Su-24 actually uh, launched missiles from around uh, this distance right here. Around uh, 60 nautical miles away from uh, Ramat David which is uh, more or less 115 kilo nautical miles or actually a little bit less. It depends a bit uh, actually. It follows the terrain as you can see. Okay, now it's soon hitting. And let's pause. And that's a direct hit. Shack 1 Warehouse. And we can see that the uh, bomber is uh, returning to Saikwal. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.